Good afternoon, everybody. This is, I'm Kim Barnes with Women's Employment Network. I wanna thank you for joining us this afternoon at our um, job fair. This afternoon, we're going to be talking with digestive health specialists. We have two um, members of their staff that are here to talk to us this afternoon. We have Kimberly and we have Lindy. So um, Kimberly and Lindy, I've given you guys um, ability to co-host so you can turn on your screen and let's um, let them know about your organization, the positions you have and how to apply. I'm Kimberly Bellaff. I'm the executive director for Digestive Health Specialists. And um, Digestive Health Specialists is a multidivisional gastroenterology practice comprised of three different groups. The groups are consultants in gastroenterology, Summit Gastroenterology, and Digestive Health Specialists of St. Joseph, Missouri. The practice was formed, uh, Digestive Health Specialists, that is, was formed on October 1st, 2015. And we have about um, 20 providers, physician providers, and about um, eight mid-level providers, and too many CRNAs to count. Um, we have three of our own endoscopy centers that are owned by the CIG, the Consultants in Gastroenterology Division. And uh, we have quite a few positions that are open. Um, one thing that I wanted to point out about our company is that we really value our employees so much so that the, um, the owners of the company, our physicians, shareholders, uh, were, were extremely adamant about not laying anyone off during COVID time. Mm -hmm. uh, we were able to um, maintain our business somewhat during COVID. Um, it wasn't, we weren't full speed ahead because we couldn't perform um, elective procedures, but we were able to maintain 100% of our staff. Now, we did have some staff members that left during COVID on their own uh, because of uh, personal reasons or family matters um, or move, moving to different locations, those sorts of things that always happen. But um, but I did want to point out that, that our organization is very employee-focused. We want to make sure that our employees are happy, that we create an environment that is fun. We don't want anyone waking up every morning and saying, oh, I have to go to that place that I hate every day. Um, we really try to create a fun atmosphere. We want our employees to feel appreciated. Um, we, we especially value um, our, our women because they can do everything. We, <laughs> we've seen it from being excellent mothers to um, being excellent um, workers. They're, they're excellent employees. All our ladies are, have been very reliable. Our men have as well, but, um, but I know that this is, um, we're focusing on women today and, um, and we just can't pr promote them enough. Um, one thing that we've, one thing that we've implemented recently is we, we want to create a career ladder for our, our employees. And um, that's one thing that they've asked for. How do I move up in the organization? What do I do? How can I learn, excuse me, how can I learn more? How can I um, be better in this organization? And so one thing that we've done is um, we have some scheduling positions that are open. And um, that's usually where we would like to start a lot of our staff that are just starting out. Maybe they have a little bit of healthcare experience. Um, maybe, they, maybe, maybe they're a CNA and they wanna transition out of a nursing home or skilled unit and, and come work in an office. Um, that's a perfect candidate to come and become a scheduler for us. It's a medical scheduling position. It's not just a, um, anyone off the street can come in and do this sort of job. Um, we do, we speak with patients every day and, um, and providers that are trying to get their patients in for colonoscopies or endoscopies or um, just get something GI related checked out. So, um, so there are some assessment questions that we ask our patients when we call in. And so our schedulers are extremely valued. That's usually the first person that, um, that our referring providers speak with and that some of our patients speak with as well. So it's really important to us to hire good, good people that have good interpersonal skills for those roles. Um, and we do teach customer service as well. We're opening um, a customer service plan uh, program, I should say, yeah. where we are teaching 
um, folks how to talk to patients that may be scared on the phone. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes a colonoscopy is really scary. And sometimes that fear manifests itself as, um, as anger. And so we, we, we have been teaching our staff how to navigate through those calls. Mm -hmm. We have an excellent scheduling supervisor that also helps with that um, as well. So we, we really try to hire the best managers and supervisors in addition to uh, the staff members because they're responsible for the staff and they are the support for the staff. So, uh, so that is also really important to us. Um, so we have scheduling positions open. Um, our schedulers also have an opportunity once they've been with the company for at least six months and they've proven that they can meet the requirements of um, character and integrity and uh, customer service that we that we um, that our expectations in our organization. We do offer opportunities to move to some of our other open positions, which are inpatient accounts. Um, patient accounts is um, where we work accounts receivable. When, uh, when, our, when our CPC billers send uh, submit bills to insurance companies, mm -hmm. sometimes they are paid and sometimes they are not. And uh, when, they are, when they are not or when there are issues with um, the payment submission, that's where our patient account uh, representatives come into play. Sometimes they have to send in additional records or resubmit claims mm -hmm. or reprocess those claims. So we do have some of those positions available for experienced um, patient accounts uh, ladies that are interested in coming in and, um, and learning how we, how we do patient accounts. Um, we have, we currently have a, a team of, a, of uh, three people in that department right now. We're looking to expand. Okay. We've been very busy post COVID. Um, we are, we are just flooded with patients right now as many medical practices are um, because we couldn't do those elective procedures. So, um, so our scheduling department is extremely busy and we need more people there, but our patient accounts department is also very busy and we need um, additional people there okay. in those areas. Um, some of the other positions we have available and open are in our health information, um, mm -hmm. health information specialists. Um, working with our medical records, pulling records for our doctors, uh, for patients that are coming in, um, that may be records coming from other physician practices. Um, a, there's a lot of um, electronic medical record filing mm -hmm. that we have involved um, in those positions. We don't use paper in our practice currently, but um, but everything that we do is, is, is electronically focused and a lot of our health information specialists work remotely. Okay. The benefit of the position as well. And your other positions that you were talking about, are, where are those located in the Kansas City metro area? You mentioned, a, I think St. Joe, and where else would those, like the scheduler, where would, the, where would they report to? The schedulers, the scheduling positions are located on 40 Highway in Independence okay. and um, on the St. Luke's East campus at our Summit Gastroenterology practice in Lee Summit. Okay. So that's where our scheduling positions are open. And our patient accounts positions are open in our 40 Highway Independence office as well. Okay. All right. Um, let's see what else we have open. Oh. Certified medical assistants, um, any certified medical assistants uh, that are interested in coming to work for some great physicians and an amazing practice, uh, we need you. We are looking for folks that are certified. Um, if you don't have certification and um, you are looking for some assistance, we can provide some resources for you, but um, we can only hire, hire certified medical assistants uh, due to uh, the way we the way we bill our government payers. It's just a requirement for our practice. Um, but certified medical assistants, we have openings both in our independence office off of Whitney Avenue in Independence. Um, and we also have an, op an opening for a certified medical assistant in our Liberty location okay. out, out of the uh, Liberty Hospital okay. campus. So we have an office up there that we're looking for 
certified medical assistants. Um, we are also looking for an RN to work PRN at our North Oak location off North Oak in the Northland. And uh, in our Independence Whitney Avenue clinic location. So okay. um, we have a couple RN positions, PRN um, or as needed available. So and you all are all across the metro. All across the metro, yes. That's great, that's great. Yes, we are. And some of our positions, some of our, 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 our PRN, RN position may travel between positions, between okay. positions and the CMAs, the Certified Medical Assistants, Sometimes they might travel, but um, of course we have paid, we offer paid mileage uh, for any mileage that is incurred during, during on the job. And then, um, but for the most part, we try to keep our staff in the same location as much as possible, just mm -hmm. some camaraderie and a team environment there. So, right. You talked about how important that team environment is, how important it is to have your employees happy to come to work and engage. So that is, that's great. Okay. Absolutely. And now keep keep going. Did you have more positions or because I've got a couple of questions in the chat box too. Those are the main positions that we have available. We have quite a few of them. We're hiring multiple schedulers, multiple patient accounts representatives. Um, we're hiring two PRN nurses and uh, two certified medical assistants and one uh, health information specialist. Okay. And now you mentioned some assistants if they needed to become a certified medical assistant. What, what exactly is that that you would help them with? Um, what we could help them with is just um, send them to um, the, the certifying boards. Okay. So, and we have some websites available. Um, some boards, some of those boards are offering um, expedited test taking. I okay. know a lot of that was shut down during COVID and a lot of mm -hmm. folks have had a hard time taking the test. Um, I know that we have some some websites that we can refer uh, folks to if they're interested in um, okay. didn't get an opportunity to take the exam during that time. So okay. And now your scheduler positions that you mentioned are those all full time or are they part time? Full time, full benefits. Okay. We we offer excellent benefits. Whenever you're ready for me to talk about those, I will. But I want yeah. to make and filter some. Yeah, let's let's have. talk about benefits. That's always very important to our participants. So, um, excuse me, our physicians, um, as I mentioned, are the owners of this company and they value employees so much that they have offered a very robust um, benefits plan. Okay. We have med medical insurance. Um, the medical insurance that we provide, we do have one option that is a higher deductible option for employees only that is 100% covered. Okay. So if you're out there and you don't have any insurance, um, mm -hmm. health insurance, this is certainly an option. Uh, this is a great place for you um, mm -hmm. as we offer, we offer one plan that is fully covered 100% by the physicians. Of course, there are buy-up plans, uh, family plans. Um, there are employee plus children or child, but our plan, if you have one child or if you have 10 children, uh, the cost is the same Okay. Uh, for, for that particular insurance plan, health insurance plan. Um, we also offer um, dental insurance. We have two dental insurance plans. One of them is offered at 100% covered for the employee. Mm -hmm. um, of course, if you wanna add children or spouse or family to that, you can. Um, it's very reasonably priced uh, for our for our staff, and um, we all, we also offer a vision plan that's 100% covered for the employee. Okay. And, um, and of course, there are buy up options on that plan as well. We offer short term and long term disability. Um, the long term dis the long the those disability plans are um, off, are offered to our employees at a specific cost. Um, they're very reasonable. Uh, but we also offer a, a sick time buildup that the company pays for. So um, if you have an FMLA qualifying event, you can use your sick bank that we have set aside for you that accrues every pay period. Um, and it can subsidize any short-term disability or long-term disability. Okay. Mm -hmm. And if you don't want to go with a long short-term disability plan, you can use a sick time as long as it's an FMLA qualifying event. Okay. The great benefit that we offer life insurance the company pays twenty thousand um, for all of our employees uh, right out of the gate 
So if you want to buy up from that, you have an option to buy up from that as well. You can add your spouse, your children, uh, anyone you want to add uh, for a really nominal fee there. Uh, we also offer accident insurance, hospital indemnity plan, critical illness, medical, dental, or medical and health savings accounts, those FSA accounts and flexible spending accounts. Um, so we, we do have a really robust uh, plan offering. We also offer a 401k plan. It is an employer matched plan. We match up to a certain percentage um, at percent and then um, an additional percentage up to 50%. So, um, so it is, um, it's a great plan. And we also pay out profit sharing, which a lot of companies don't do these days, but mm -hmm. our positions, again, value the employees so much that um, the excess um, collections that we have at the end of the year are redistributed to all of our employees. Great. Mm -hmm. Whether you participate in the 401k plan or not, it's a nice nest egg that we set aside for all of our employees. So okay. And do those benefits start um, after 30 days? Do they start immediately at higher? When do those benefits, when are you eligible for those benefits? You're eligible 60 days. First of the okay. month. 60 days, um, the first of the month. So if, you're, okay. if your 60 days falls on the 15th, you'll have to wait till the first of the following month. Gotcha. Um, but we, we also offer additional holidays. So um, we, instead, of six, instead of the big six holidays, we offer seven holidays because for Thanksgiving, we offer Thursday and Friday off because um, our doctors say nobody wants to prep for a colonoscopy on Thanksgiving. <laughs> yeah, that would not be a great way to spend your holiday. It would not. Oh, no. So we offer, we offer a long weekend for th the Thanksgiving holiday um, as well. Okay. You, uh, we have a couple of questions in the chat box that I want to make sure that we get to. Um, one is what type of experience is required for that health information specialist position? Medical terminology, um, experience working with a, an electronic medical record is preferred. Um, definitely at least typing 45 to 50 words per minute mm -hmm. um, and being proficient in, um, in typing. Um, and just basic, um, basic computer navigation skills. Um, okay. a lot of what we're doing is electronic filing, uh, but there is a, there is a lot of thought that goes into placing um, uh, placing files in the electronic medical record in the okay. in the appropriate spots. The medical terminology helps out with that, so you know which um, which are labs, uh, where the labs go, and what X rays look like, and where those need to go, and and usually those are results that come in from our um, our lab and radiology partners. Okay. And then we had a question, are any of the positions um, remote or work from home position? Or are they all in your office? We have a, we have a, um, a billing position that um, a lot of our billers work from home. Okay. We, we may have an opening there soon. Mm -hmm. I'm not too sure about that. We're, we're evaluating our existing resources. Uh, those are all remote positions. The health information specialist position is a remote position, but we do require um, training for at least 90 days in the office so we can ensure that um, that the candidate is going to be a good fit to work from home mm -hmm. and um, that, um, that we've gone through the competency checklist before okay. allowed going from home and working remotely also does require that the employee have their own um, remote workstation available. Okay. And that just means in a, in a quiet place, doesn't have to necessarily be an, an office per se, but somewhere where you're not going to be interrupted um, mm -hmm. and have your own laptop that meets certain, certain requirements and specifications and have your own internet access that meets our specifications as well. Okay. Okay. Um, let's see, you talked a little bit about the remote, you've talked about the wonderful benefits you guys have. What else would you like to add? We've got about three more minutes. We, if they have more questions, they can put them in the chat box. But anything else, because it sounds like a wonderful opportunity for a lot of different positions. So anything else you want to add maybe about if they come in and as a scheduler, how they can advance? Anything you want to add before we close up? Sure. Um, the first thing I want to add is if you're interested, you can go to our website, um, digestive, H as in Henry, S as in Sally.com. 
and um, just click on the career section there and you can apply for any of our open positions. Um, please, please, please do that. Uh, that way we know who you are and which mm -hmm. position you're interested in. There are also um, applications and opportunities on our, um, on the Indeed site. Okay. Some of our positions, um, the patient accounts representatives and the scheduling positions, we are also offering sign-on bonuses for those positions. Okay. So sign-on bonuses um, pay out a portion of the bonus on the first paycheck, and then the remaining portion of the bonus, um, 180 days or six months um, into the position. Okay. And if you leave before that six months, um, then of course we, rec we recoup the, um, the initial bonus that was paid out. But we, we want uh, good candidates to come join us and we want to reward those that, those that do. So, um, so watch for those sign-on bonuses. They're listed out there on the positions. And, um, and we and are they listed on your webpage or your webpage and Indeed? They're both places so they would know. Okay. Yeah, they are listed both places. And um, we do offer competitive wage. Um, we, we really want to get good people. Okay. We do. We're, we're a, good, a great employer looking for some really amazing ladies to come and join us. The advancement opportunities we have, um, if you meet the customer service, the character and integrity requirements that we, that we have in our scheduling department, then um, you can advance up to a patient account position and, okay. and or health information specialist positions um, if you're interested in those. And we have openings in those areas. All right. Sounds great. If you want to mention your website one more time as we're closing out, just to make sure that they are able to go on this afternoon or first thing in the morning and get those applications in, because these sound like some really wonderful um, positions that you can build a career with an agency that's really wants you and uh, is and happy about making sure that you're comfortable. You mentioned how you took care of everybody during COVID and advancements and those holiday bonuses have got to be great. So absolutely. The website is digestive, that's D-I-G-E-S-T-I-V-E, -E, H as in Henry, S as in Sally, dot com. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining me this afternoon, Kimberly. Um, everyone, if you will um, just take a few minutes, we're going to have about a 10 minute break before our next organization. Um, you'll be able to watch a replay of this. If you joined us just a few minutes late, I saw some people kind of just jumped on. You'll be able to see a replay of this on our website here um, in about a week. You'll be able to watch that and also on our YouTube channel. So thank you for joining us, Kimberly. Um, everyone go out and apply. Have a great afternoon.